Number 15, Bloody Mary. A rough explanation of this video makes it seem pretty innocent. It's just a man holding what seems like a ventriloquism puppet, singing it's raining, it's pouring. The thing that makes this video creepy is that the puppet is a demonic and ghostly one. The ventriloquist is using an eerie whispering voice, and the lyrics are changed to it's raining, it's pouring, I killed the old man so he won't wake up in the morning. It's raining. Killed the old man? Yeah. The ventriloquist holding the puppet goes on to say, that's terrible, and says that the doll is the spirit of the urban legend Bloody Mary. Taking a look at this performer, ventriloquist Vance, there's nothing too out of the ordinary. He just seems to be someone interested in using YouTube as a platform to practice and publish his work with ventriloquism. The Bloody Mary video was a questionable one though. It was originally posted in August 2015, meaning that it was likely not a Halloween special. This video was actually originally found on Petite Tube, a website that randomly generates a video with less than 100 views every time the page is refreshed. A link was posted to 4chan explaining how creepy this was, and it went on to gain over a thousand views from there. Seeing this on a website with no context must have made it even more unsettling than it already is. I'm getting sick and tired of living in a house filled with spirits. Then have us exercise. What priest is going to believe that I have the evil spirit of Bloody Mary in my own house? Number 14, Ricardo Lopez or the Bjork Stalker. This 21-year-old single exterminator gained an unhealthy obsession with the Icelandic pop star Bjork. He was caught in a psychopathic turmoil between loving her and hating her. Well, mostly it was just his unhealthy romantic obsession that fueled his delusions. He also grew a certain hate for her after finding out she was in a serious relationship. He planned to send her a letter bomb so that she would die. He also planned to kill himself so that they could be united in the afterlife. He recorded several hours worth of VHS tapes, documenting his obsession and his sick plan. In this tape, he recorded himself committing suicide via shotgun to the head. I'm waiting for as soon as the manager leaves, I'm going to uh, do it. I'm waiting though. Okay, it's time. The full video is actually available on YouTube, and it's pretty unsettling. The police found his body and intercepted the letter to Bjork, saving her and spoiling Ricardo's plan. This is one of the few suicide videos to ever be left up on YouTube and it's kind of uncertain why. It's not really of historical importance, it's certainly hard to watch and it isn't intended for most viewers. Number 13, 911 call, stalker outside window. This video is filmed from the inside of an upper floor apartment, where an eerie figure has been staring up into the owner's bedroom window for several hours apparently. The owner decided to start recording in case anything drastic happened, or in case the suspect fled the scene. He would have some evidence to offer police. The video is pretty much just a shot out the window of this figure standing perfectly still and staring directly at the owner as he's on the phone with 911. There's this... There's this guy just like standing outside my window um, and he's just like looking up at the window. He's been there for about 30 minutes now and I like, I, I have, uh... This actually is the first of over 25 videos in a small series where a couple seems to document their time being stalked by an unknown man that even breaks into their home. Of course, many viewers seem to think it's scripted, but regardless, it can face the fear of pretty much anyone living in the city. Not only are there people out there interested in breaking in and stealing from you, there's plenty of sick people out there that just want to mess with your head. The first few videos of this series with the man standing below the window are especially haunting as the quality is low and his face cannot be seen. Number 12, Radiator Creature. The most terrifying part of this video is how much suspense it manages to build. This was another great petite tube find that was featured in a list by Shrouded Hand and imagining this being originally found on a website that gave no context or warning, you can imagine how terrifying it was at first. 
The video is pretty short in length, lasting only about 3 minutes, but considering the content featured in that 3 minutes, it seems like an eternity. Someone operating the camera shows a couple different angles of a white in-home radiator. The camera person doesn't say anything, but many background noises such as clanking can be heard. The camera goes into one of the rows of the radiator and zooms into what looks like a light. As the camera begins to focus, a monkey or chimpanzee's face can be seen. In a mere split second, the monkey makes a loud noise and the camera person jumps back, before ending the video. A monkey isn't really a chilling idea, but it does lead the viewer to a lot of questions. Where is this monkey located and why? More importantly, the suspense built up for several long grueling minutes before the jump of the monkey's noise creates a perfect jump scare. Even better, after being scared senseless, you're just left going through the video several times to make sure it really was a monkey and not some creature hiding within the walls. Number 11. Driving Through Hell this video of someone racing through hell is pretty terrifying. The driver speeds down a lonely road as fires blaze beside them and smoke shrouds their vision. It isn't actually hell of course. It's a massive forest fire that began May 1st, 2016 in Fort McMurray, Alberta. It lasted for several days, spread several miles, and caused over $3 billion worth of damage. This driver was likely trying to get through the mess right when it began to pick up. Plenty of people fear fire and natural disasters, but when you consider religion, even more people not only believe in but fear the possibility of hell. Even some that aren't religious fear the off chance of being sent to an eternal oven of pain and suffering. Seeing a video like this is pretty chilling, but being in a situation like this is probably much worse. This is literally a life or death situation, with a terrifying scenery to accompany it and remind anyone able to see it that this could possibly be their eternity after death. Number 10. Haunted Puppet This video was posted in August 2015. It seems to be a night camera set up to view a glass cage-like setup in which a dollar puppet is locked. The title of the video claims that this is footage of a haunted doll that allegedly choked its owner and then was sealed in this container to keep it from harming anyone else. The video, which is about 1 minute and 15 seconds long, shows the puppet moving its arm to knock loudly on the glass of the container. Not only is this some pretty creepy imagery, hearing your inanimate doll knock on glass this loudly in the middle of the night is probably pretty paralyzing. This of course isn't the only haunted doll caught on tape. And who can forget the infamous Annabelle that was said to be haunted by an evil entity? Those that believe in the paranormal strongly agree that it's possible for spirits to possess non-living things. There have been stories of things as simple as jewelry being haunted by lost souls. It's more popular that they control dolls though, as they're the most human-like inanimate things around. More importantly, nothing makes for a scary story like a doll controlled by unknown forces from beyond. Number 9. Pete the Meat Puppet This is yet another video that has gained quite a bit of popularity across the web. Pete the Meat Puppet is a musical-like animation uploaded in 2008. It seems to be a type of parody of children's cartoons, as it has fun lyrics and cheerful music, but it also parodies the common fall down of a famous celebrity. The images in some of the lyrics are quite unsettling, and certainly not meant for a younger audience, which puts the whole video in this weird limbo category. Basically, the story goes that a lonely lunch lady created a little boy out of raw meat that eventually comes to life and becomes famous with a fast food franchise. A household name, my face was pasted everywhere. I have so much fortune, so much fame. Was on
an ex-beauty queen. He becomes addicted to sex, drugs, and alcohol before a sex tape is released and he loses everything. He is forced to live on the street and prostitute himself. He explains that maggots and worms crawl through him and he becomes so hungry he eats his own leg. He then says he's traveling town to town trying to find the meaning of life. While the song and story are more of a joke, the production decisions for this meat puppet make everything a little more horror based than the creators probably intended. Number 8. Man Relates His Out of Body Experience This video isn't that haunting from first glance. It's just a man singing in front of the camera. Perhaps just for fun, perhaps for practice. It's the content of this man's song that truly adds an eerie air to the video. The 3 minute video was uploaded by Jay Sandler 48 in January 2007. Basically, he's singing a song about a near-death experience in the afterlife. I'm glad I almost died. Tell me what happened to you. One day I had a heart attack. Were you dead now turning blue? Yes, I was, but they brought me back. What happened while you were dead? I left my body and floated free. It wouldn't be so bad if the morbid subject wasn't presented in such a cheery tone by this performer. More importantly, this video was apparently posted to 4chan from Petite Tube as well, making it even more creepy. Taking a look at the rest of Jay Sandler's 48's content, it's pretty apparent that he's interested in writing his own music, probably for theater. That should make light of the video, but it actually makes it worse considering most of his videos are either very morbid and centered around death, or intensely sexual. Overall, he seems happy and content with his work. He's just enjoying himself and probably knows that people find his videos comical or a little odd. Either way, nothing can take away from the creepy feeling you get hearing someone say, I'm glad I died while clapping and smiling. The latest video to his page was uploaded about 6 months ago. Please keep in mind that this guy is just trying to use the YouTube platform to express himself and you should not gear hate towards him, even if his videos are a bit questionable and unsettling. This video as well as the next one were featured in a petite tube list created by Rainbot Horror, who will be linked below. Number 7. The game is afoot, we must return him to this world. This video also gained most of its attention from petite tube. But looking at the rest of the content on this channel actually feels the horror aspect of this video. While it does seem to be some sort of art project or horror series, the off chance of someone believing these posts is enough to worry anyone who stumbles across them. This particular video was posted on January 12th, 2016 from the YouTube channel Zawan's Chosen. The video is barely over a minute long, and it consists of a point of view perspective of someone tearing apart paper that has cartoon characters printed on it. The paper also has no 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 stop typed out on the top. Whoever is recording cuts the paper and crumples up a large portion of it. They then take the piece to a dirty toilet and attempt to flush it. This person then proceeds to stab at a red table with some sort of headphone or audio jack before hitting a wall with either the same wire or a black rope. As all of this occurs, there's some strange audio track playing over everything. The rest of the video seem to be cell phone clips obtained from someone's daily activities, such as driving in a car or visiting a Starbucks. Most of the videos have a jazz or rock track layered over them, but they're all titled things like Zawan Makes Us Faster, Serve Zawan, and other related things. Another dark and confusing video on this channel is titled, Who is Zawan? The contents of the video vaguely explain what can only be understood as some godlike entity. The video also offers the same symbol used as the channel's logo. Some of the comments are from channels sharing the same logo saying things like, My task is complete. The entire project gives a strange digital cult feel, and it'd be no surprise if more, even darker videos caught the attention of horror buffs across the web. Number 6. Craigslist Tape Found 
This video comes along with a story from Reddit by user enter your text here. However, it was uploaded to YouTube and read by the glitched 64 reads in early February 2016. The story goes that an English teacher bought a batch of Edgar Allan Poe VHS tapes. The seller of the tapes promised that he would have the tapes to him by the 23rd of January. On the 31st, only a few minutes after getting the package at his front door, the teacher receives a phone call from the seller, whose voice was apparently really weird. He asked, has it come yet? They're probably there, huh? The teacher responded, who is this? And the seller simply said, the tapes, did you get them yet? He confirmed that he had received the order, but the conversation went on for five more minutes, where every time the call would break up, the seller would call back from a new number. When the call finally ended and the teacher went through his tapes, he found that most of them were in normal condition aside from one. It seemed to have been taped over. Most of the content was from old Nickelodeon shows, but there were some pretty unsettling scenes from the movie Cube Zero, where a man's flesh burns off. There's also a recording of the night sky and a short clip from the popular music video Rubber Johnny that was once related to the horror community. Aside from these few creepy things, the teacher said that the most unsettling thing was the vibe he got about the tapes. It's got to be pretty easy to imagine how getting something like this in the mail just after a sketchy phone call can make someone not only nervous but scared as well. Number 5. Local 58 Contingency In more recent years, plenty of people have come out saying that they basically have a phobia of emergency alert messages. Even if you're not totally terrified of them, Seeing one pop up on your TV screen at 3am is always unnerving, since half the time you don't know what to expect. Take that feeling of uncertainty and apply it to this video. The 3 minute long video was posted by Chainsaw Suit Original, but was found on 4chan and made more popular by several YouTube videos displaying a collection of creepy things. The video starts out with a nightly schedule for a channel called Local 58. It seems to be a local antenna channel which would be accessible by anyone with a TV in theory. This footage also seems to be very grainy and vintage, possibly from the late 60s. An American flag is sprawled across the screen as the Star Spangled Banner plays over a message that reads, 3 AM end of broadcast day. This seems like a normal end of broadcast message for TV of its time, until we are met with an error screen and a loud long ringing. A logo eventually pops up that is labeled the US Department for Preservation of American Dignity. Another screen pops up that lends us some more information. This message is apparently not to be used after November 13th of 1970 meaning that this would have to have been broadcast from before that time. The screen also reads, to be used only in the event of United States complete surrender to insurmountable enemy forces. This leads us to the conclusion that this is an emergency broadcast message in relation to not only a time of war, but a time when the US apparently planned to surrender. From here, the contingency message begins. The following screens are a set of instructions that advise, though they occupy our streets, they will never occupy our spirits. The message leads Americans to believe that what they are about to do is in order to preserve the perfect image of America. This message is allegedly signed by the president, though the name is not legible. The following screens instruct viewers to use whatever method is most available to them to commit suicide, though firearms are most preferred. Furthermore, local law enforcement has been informed to take out anyone who refuses to comply with these instructions. Before killing themselves, viewers are told to take the victory stance, which involves laying in their front yard, face up, feet together. They are also instructed to take care of their children and pets for themselves, to leave no one behind. After this, the station goes back to normal and a message is delivered that the station was hacked and this was a hoax. A pretty horrible hoax that would have led to thousands of dead Americans laying in their front yards. Of course from viewing the rest of this channel's content, this was more of an art project. But if you're someone easily scared by emergency broadcasts, this video is pretty horrible. 
and there are several other similar videos concerning Local 58 on the Chainsaw Suit original channel. Number 4. Meet Sleep This entry is based more around an entire series of videos as opposed to a single one. This channel has caused its audience to be filled with questions, fear, and theories. Some believe that it's a work of fiction like an art project or horror film promo. Others believe it is a secret message from someone being held captive and abused, or messages from the abuser himself. Another theory is that this is part of a reality game. The first video by this channel, the video that gained the most attention, is titled In Great, surrounded by symbols. The video is shot in a damp and dark basement. Random trash is thrown across the floor and there's either a flickering effect happening with the footage, or there's a light that flickers constantly. There's also distorted audio of a voice saying, You live here. I gave you a home. You're ungrateful. You live here. I love you live here. I gave you a home. Now you live here. You're ungrateful. These images give the idea that whoever lives here is living there against their will. Their bed seems to be a wet sleeping bag and there's no bathroom, of course no food, and the conditions are generally unhealthy. There are several videos in this series, and several things that point to what this could be, such as a girl's hand coming from the bottom of the basement door, images of newspaper clippings of missing or abused women, women being filmed from a distance in parking garages, an ad for a date rape drug and far off shots of crime scenes. Coming across something like this with no idea what you're watching can be pretty concerning. It's clearly about kidnapping of some sort, and other videos that show meat being cooked could also suggest a hint of cannibalism. Scare Theater has done a great in-depth analysis of the content of this channel. Even with this analysis though, there's still no certain answer as to what is really going on with these videos. There are several theories going around the web and when taking details into account for each theory, any of them could be true. It's probably certain that this is not just found footage, as it seems to be edited and published with a clear plan. The message behind the project is a more questionable topic. Is this just an elaborate art project or game? Is this a series published by a victim of abuse? Or is this the work of a serial killer trying to admit to his crimes? Number 3. Blank Room Soup this video has been pretty popular for quite some time now, making its way through creepypasta forums and debunking channels alike. It's not certain where this was originally posted, but it seems the earliest YouTube upload was January 2014 by a channel named Creepy Paste. The original title for this was BlankRoomSoup.avi, which of course was eventually shortened as it made its way through the web. The video is a minute and roughly 5 seconds long, and it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect to a point. The video starts with a blank room, full of white walls that are bare from decor which gives the feel of either a home that isn't lived in, or an interrogation room, office, or hospital of some kind. There's a man sitting at a table in the middle of the camera's view. His eyes are censored and he's eating soup with a large spoon. Pretty much immediately, in the background through a doorway, there's someone in a character costume. The character has a large white head with short hair, two big black circles for eyes, no other details, and mitten-shaped hands. The character is also wearing all black. He walks up to a man who is crying and slightly panicking while eating the soup and begins to pat him on the back. The man begins to cry even harder as he eats his soup, nearly hyperventilating. Another identical character comes from off screen and begins patting the man on the back as well. There are several videos as to what this video is about. The original story claimed that this was found on the deep web, and these two characters had kidnapped and tortured this man. Of course this was revealed to not be true at all. It's more likely that this is an art project or advert of some sort. Several other videos of these characters have popped up around the web, such as a clip of them standing on stage at what seems to be a concert. No matter the story behind this video, it's caused quite a confusion over the web and has plenty of terrifying theories attached to it. 
Take a look at the full length video yourself to get a better understanding of just how uncomfortable it can make its viewers. Number 2. Illusion of Bias This video is the product of influential pictures, Alexander Bizarsky and Sparks Rojas. From the message offered at the beginning and the end of this project, it can be assumed that the main message here is to be grateful for what you have, to not constantly question what you're given or ask for more, to not be filled with insecurities when you're perfectly healthy, and so on. The video starts with images of grey, raining, hustling and bustling city scenes. Messages flash along the screen such as everyone has their own insecurities and issues. The short film then goes on to tell a horrifying tale of a young girl who has a cancerous tumour. She underwent surgery and doctors successfully removed the tumour with no major problems. However, some part of her psyche was tampered with and she was never able to see her own face again. In the film, this is met with images of a girl with a blank or blurred out face. She fell into a depression, constantly insecure about her appearance, and constantly unsure of herself. One night, she had a wonderful dream where she felt euphoric and knew that she could see her face again. This portion of the video is pretty innocent with scenery from a field of wheat as the girl bounds around in a white dress. The only thing haunting about this portion of the video is the deep distorted voice saying, everything will find its place, go with the flow. Everything is going to find its place. Just relax and go with the flow. Just go with the flow. The girl awakens from her dream and goes on to look in the mirror, only to find that she's hideous and deformed. The image we are met with here is probably one of the most terrifying from the video. Her face seems to have scar tissues as well as open wounds. Certain parts of her face are not where they belong. Her eyes bulge out abnormally and she seems to be shrouded behind a layer of skin. She returns to bed and wishes to never see her face again. According to the story, she luckily never does, but every night she wakes up in a pool of her own vomit. A message then comes across that this could happen to anyone, even to you. There are plenty of images, sounds, and animations that make this clip even more horrifying. So if you'd like to watch it in its entirety, check the link below, or don't, just go with the flow. Number 1. Hampstead Cover-Up or Papa Kills Babies In February 2015, the affluent area of Hampstead, London came under fire after a viral video where two children seemed to expose an underground ring of child sex slavery, pedophilia and murder. The first video to make its round was titled Papa Kills Babies. In this video, two children estimated between the ages of 8 and 11 are talking to a male and female behind the camera. The first things they say in the video is that just, we, want, we decided to stop touching each other and stop touching ourselves. And what else are you going to stop? And stop killing babies. Of course, right off the bat, this video is questionable, inappropriate, and a little confusing. As it goes on, the children explain that they're going to help bring justice to all of the people that have done sex to them. This, of course, is a more PG way of explaining that they were going to bring pedophiles that have raped them to justice. The man behind the camera, possibly a cop or investigator, asks the children who has done sex to them. They go on to list that their father, someone named Papa, their teachers, social workers, priests of some kind, and even police officers have either raped or molested them. They go on to explain even more bizarre and terrifying aspects of this situation. They explain that there's some sort of church run by Papa where he sacrifices babies, drinks their blood, keeps their skulls, and dances around them. Apparently, these children are involved in these strange rituals. They explain that they help Papa kill the babies. The way they describe the step-by-step -step process of murdering these infants is uncanny to the way you'd picture a satanic sacrifice. The story quickly took a turn from unsettling to pure nightmare fuel. A blog titled The Hampstead Cover-Up explains this case in much further detail. 
about how the children have given information on all of those involved in this cult-like sex ring and how they were taken from their parents' custody by the state. They were taken under the grounds that they needed to be questioned as their safety was uncertain. However, as stated by the children in the video, social services are in on this sick game and their mother's efforts to get her children back have been unsuccessful. This blog also shares interviews with the children conducted by a child psychologist. After the original video went viral, the things explained by these children were exactly the same as in the first video. Aside from some details that were pretty more specific, this makes it hard to pass the entire story off as a child's imagination, as it'd be unlikely for them to remember such details without them having actually happened. More importantly, unless their parents were allowing them to scroll the deep web, they wouldn't even know how to describe such imagery. This has become a story all in its own that involves a possible cult, mind control, sex slavery, murder, and government conspiracy. Ever since the first video was posted, it was removed from YouTube several times and was even banned in the UK. For that reason, most of this video will be cut short and the children's faces will be blurred. However, if you want more information on this roller coaster of a cover up, you can visit the blog which will be linked down below. Thanks for checking out this countdown. Leave a like so we know you made it to the end. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new videos every week. My name is Chills and I hope you enjoyed the narration. My Twitter is at YTChills and my Instagram is at DylanIsChillinYT. I'd really appreciate a follow and feel free to send me a DM if you have any comments or suggestions. See ya.